welcome to the show. Today we're going to make homemade ice cream. It's really straightforward and really simple and apart from the freezing process we should be done in a few minutes. Simple ingredients to start off with for chocolate ice cream, chocolate or so cocoa powder, full fat milk, full fat cream that's over 30% cream or whipping cream and thick gloopy condensed milk. One thing I'd say about the cream and the milk, try to get the stuff that doesn't have any additives. We want to keep this really natural. It's going to take us about five or ten minutes to make the ice cream and about six or eight hours for it to freeze. So let's get going. So we have 330 grams of double cream or whipping cream, 30% fat or more. We have about uh, 80 to 100 milliliters of full fat milk, that's about three, three and a half percent fat. And we have 100 milliliters of thick condensed milk and we're going to firstly whip the cream in the mixer for about one half minutes. Okay take our cream which should be nicely chilled, the mixing bowl can also be chilled. Just to whip this on its own. Add on uh, one half minutes on four. And check it. Yep, that's pretty much what we want. Add the chocolate powder. quite stiff. Now you can at this stage add some milk for a little bit of extra moisture. as far as we're going to go. The secret of course is to have a mixture that has enough condensed milk in it so that it's sweet enough which inhibits the ice crystals from forming. Once you've done that all you need to do is to pour it into this Tupperware and put it in the freezer. The uh, trick to this is to get the mixture frozen as quickly as you can to avoid ice crystals forming in it and ice crystals will of course inevitably form anyway but if you stir it around when it's in the freezer every 45 minutes every hour that will reduce the ice crystal formation um, you should do that for about three hours but if the mixture is sufficiently sweet as this should be with the condensed milk which is uh, as you saw thick and gloopy then it shouldn't even need stirring so let's give it a go Just give it a tap gently. You'll notice that I'm using a thin container, like a shallow container, because it will help it freeze more quickly. And I'm using a plastic spatula not to scratch the bowl. Seem to find that um, even mixtures that seem very sweet before they're frozen aren't quite as sweet after they're frozen. Yep. So it doesn't necessarily do any harm if it seems a little too sweet to you when you're making the mixture. And uh, this is of course uh, 
old ice cream container and we're going to use that. And we're going to pop it in the freezer. My freezer, I find it's, it has to be cold, it's at the back in a middle drawer. Don't ask me why. How easy was that? We mixed a few ingredients together, we made sure that the mixture was sweet enough and that it was relatively thick before we put it into the plastic container. We now have to wait six or eight hours. Our main priority is for the mixture to freeze as quickly as possible and not form ice crystals. Ice crystals will only form if it doesn't freeze quickly enough, if there's too much water in the mixture or if there's not enough sugar, condensed milk with sugar, in the mixture. Let's come back in six or eight hours and hopefully we'll have some decent ice cream with a good texture. It's eight and a half or nine hours later. Uh, the ice cream is ready. I took it out of the freezer about 15-20 minutes ago. Uh, as you can see from the lid, it's been melting, uh, but it looks quite creamy. And uh, this is the ice cream itself, uh, a nice block. It's uh, looking quite good. Uh, hopefully we'll have no ice crystals. I'm going to try it in a moment. Remember, we made this without an ice cream maker, just using the uh, stand mixer and uh, the condensed milk. Um, I do have an ice cream uh, maker and I'll show you how to make ice cream with that um, another time but for now let's tuck into this. Okay so there's our ice cream it's been out the freezer about 20 minutes now 25 minutes something like that and let's have a look. Give it a try. Okay, it's the moment of truth. Uh, there it is. There's a piece of ice cream. There's a scoop of ice cream, I should say. And uh, let's try it. So it's been out 20, 25 minutes over here. It's uh, still nicely solid. And there's a genuine. Uh, one, I only get one, one take of this, don't I? Because it's the same scoop as you can see. And let's see how it is. It's very creamy. Doesn't seem to be any significant ice crystals, if any ice crystals at all. Seems quite creamy. I say it's very passable for an ice cream that hasn't been anywhere near an ice cream machine. It's very good. And it's not too sweet. Could maybe make it a little bit more chocolatey. Increase the cocoa powder. Yes. Pretty good, very Moorish, and unfortunately quite fattening. Right, pretty good. And that's how you make ice cream without an ice cream machine. The sweetness is the key to losing your ice crystals and having a smooth, creamy texture. The sweeter you make it, chances are the less likely the ice crystals will form, as long as you freeze it nice and quickly. It's good. Hope you enjoyed watching it. I'm going to enjoy finishing this. I'll see you next time. Bye.